Tonight we have the closing reception for the faculty triennial, and this is a special one because it's our 20th anniversary. We have works from faculty who are teaching now and faculty who taught 20 years ago. It's a lot of fun to see kind of all the work together and see how the program's evolved over the years. This is part of actually a two location exhibition. We have works here on campus and we have additional works shown in showcase downtown at the Conway Visitors Center. I think this was a brilliant idea actually to do this because part of us celebrating 20 years, we kind of look back. We select the best people to be educators for our students and these are internationally exhibited award-winning artists who teach at Coastal and having them kind of all together in one place is what the students get to learn from every day. I think there's something for everyone here. I have a silk screen that I've done in the last year in retirement. I've been working on a series of landscapes of places that need to be cherished and saved and this one is Congaree National Park. I think it's really important that the student body gets to know what kind of work the faculty does so that we can better support what the student might be interested in. I was really connecting with my own femininity, honestly. Stripping away the ego and connecting with the divine within. I'm really in the moment, really organic. Um, I really listen to my students and I really promote vulnerability so that they can take risks like I just did. <laughs> After 20 years, what you can see is really how we've grown. Our faculty in art was very small 20 years ago, and today we have actually artists who are really renowned, and it's been great to see that, just the development, and also the quality of the work, and the, the variety of the you know, artistic work we're doing. COVID has done a number on all of our kind of physical manifestations, but now that we're kind of back in person, we can enjoy works like they should be seen, which is in person and together.